All right. What up, Tycoon? Super excited for today's video. In this episode of Trading 101, we are going to go over the simple moving average. All right. Um, if you look here by Investopedia, okay, the average of a selected range of prices, usually closing prices by the number of periods in that range, is the definition of your simple moving average. Okay. Now you can go into the formula um, and so on and so forth. But once you have the you know basic understanding of what it is, then you want to you know utilize that on your charts, okay, and use that valuable information. But to do that, you need to come up here to your studies, okay. So first, you must go to your studies tab and add the simple moving average, okay, commonly known as the MA, the moving average, or the SMA, okay. Um, so you'll come in here. All right, and then you're going to go to your edit studies tab and hit simple, okay? Type in simple, select the simple moving average and hit add selected twice, okay? Um, the reason being is that we're going to use the 50 and the 200 SMA. Those are two of the most common, all right? <clears throat> so to add the 50 and 200 SMA, you need to customize and select the gear icon. That's going to be this icon right up here in the right-hand corner, okay? Once you click there, you can go ahead and start customizing it, all right? You're going to change the length to 50 and you're going to set the color to whatever color you want. OK, for this video, we have our 50 SMA in yellow. All right. And then for the 200 SMA, you're going to need to change the setting on the other one to 200. All right. On the length. And for mine, I have the color at purple. You can set the color to your own personal preference. All right. Then from there, we will go ahead and hit apply on our screen. All right. And it will update the uh, chart to go ahead and reflect the 50 and 200 SMA. All right, now, um, why are some reasons people use it, okay, is for spotting trends, all right? So we'll go into spotting trends using the SMAs, all right? We'll go ahead and cover that next. Um, so, you know, first off, you can look at uptrends, all right? Stocks trading above the simple moving averages are considered to be in an uptrend, all right? You can see we have our 200 here, our 50 here, and this stock is going upwards in a nice uptrend, all right? Um, the SMAs are common places traders look for support in an uptrend, right? So you can see here, we come close to the 50 SMA and we bounce. We pull back down, we come close to the 50 SMA and we bounce, okay? And you see, we are continuing that pattern. We break through the 50 SMA and then we approach our 200 SMA, find some support and bounce, come down to the 200 SMA, find some support and bounce, all right? Um, three times it bounced near the 50 SMA and two times it bounced near the 200 SMA, right? One, two, three, right? And one, two, right here. So that's an uptrend. Um, and this is one way you can use it, right? You can say, okay, well, we're approaching the 50 day moving average, simple moving average. Let me go ahead and maybe take a small position because this stock has been in an uptrend and been finding support. Now, once it breaks through that 50 SMA, um, you have your 200 SMA where you can look to add a position, right? We break through here. We see it's finding support those two times while it's still in an uptrend, okay? Now it works for downtrends as well, okay? Stocks trading below the simple moving averages are considered to be in a downtrend, all right? We have our 200 here, our 50 here. You see we're clearly trading below, all right? Um, you know, after we rejected the 50 SMA here, all right, the stock, um, you know, fell more, fell more. We come up, all right, and break through that 50 SMA and then near our 200 SMA, is when we start to get resistance and we start to fall, okay? One, two, three times we've come up near the 200 SMA and then it started to fall, all right? Um, so that's it for a downtrend. Now we're gonna go over some actual trading patterns, right? There's two patterns in particular that are the most common um, and that really could signify, um, you know, a really nice entry for a position, okay? We have a golden cross and a death cross. We're going to cover the golden cross first, okay? This is when the 50 SMA crosses above the 200 SMA. That's what this is right here. We see our yellow line below, okay? And we see it crossing above, all right? So it crosses above there, and that's typically a bullish signal, all right? Um, typically, this will lead to a bull run, right? If we look in this example here, when we got our crossover, right, our golden cross, the price was about $315, okay? And we come up to the end here, it's at 430 at those highs. So that right there was about a 35% bull run uh, rally, okay, that was driven by this golden cross indicator, right? So you could have, you know, gotten your entry at around the golden cross, okay, and held your position um, while we're still holding, you know, uh, above our moving averages, okay? The next one 
is going to be the death cross, okay? And this is what a death cross looks like when our 50 SMA crosses below the 200 SMA, okay? Um, that's going to be your death cross, all right? Typically, this is a bearish signal, right? If we look at when we got our death cross here, okay, at this moment, when it crossed over, we were at $280 on this uh, share, okay, for this stock. Then the price dropped 16% to $235, okay? So that right there was a nice short trade, okay? Or it could have been a signal for you not to invest right here, right? You don't want to invest right when a golden cross is happening because it's a bearish signal that we may drop to the downside. So you may want to hedge your position. You may want to take a small uh, bearish position, or you may want to just wait until that further bearishness gets played out. OK, so that's it for the video. Uh, just wanted to go over the simple moving averages um, using the 50 and the 200, especially uh, we went over how to, you know, tell if a stock is in an uptrend, tell if a stock is in a downtrend. We looked at the golden cross and the death cross. Uh, these are some really simple things that you can start doing on your own, uh, start implementing. And I showed you how to set it up on your screen as well. Uh, so now you just have to use this information and go ahead and start practicing yourself. Um, the more screen time you get, the better experience you will have as a trader, okay?